Former Loose Women presenter Andrea McLean announced she had quit her role on the ITV daytime program after 13 years of fronting the show. The mum of two has since addressed her decision to sell her family home which she shared with her husband Nick Feeney and the journalist's two children, son Finley, 20, and daughter Amy, 15. The 52-year-old admitted that she decided to sell her home before it became an issue but added that it was not a hasty decision. The former Loose Women presenter shared that she had no regrets about moving out of her Surrey abode because she needed the money to invest in her business, this girl is on fire, and DIDNT liked the idea of seeking out investors. But the on-screen star admitted that she was sad to leave behind her beloved garden which she has spent copious amounts of times nurturing. Andrea explained, it's not like I've sold it and that's it. I've invested it in me and my business which I really believe in. And what's great, we did it before it became a problem. It wasnt in a desperate move. We didnt say, oh my god, we need to sell tomorrow. The whole world is ending. It wasnt like that. It was actually quite calm. She continued, it was sad. The thing I was most sad about was leaving my garden because I put so much into it. I love gardening. I love the gentleness of it. I was really sad but we're in a rental now. I don't care if it's not my garden. I'm still going to love it. Plant flowers, get happy when they grow, and get sad when they die. All of the things that gardeners do. Since leaving her ITV gig of 13 years, the star has devoted her time to her writing career, as well as her website and blog, This Girl Is On Fire, a self-help community that she launched on a global scale. The star now lives in a rented house with her third husband, Nick and her two children. Andrea went on to explain that the sale proceeds were used to invest in the technology of her online business which she had been struggling with during the early stages of her project. With this girls on fire we had invested so much time and money into technology and the technology was letting us down, she explained. We opened the membership for a few hundred women and then we shut the doors so that we could test and measure it on a beta testing app. It was taking too long to get it to work so that we could launch it. We thought, if this doesn't work soon we're going to need more money. The former Loose Women presenter declined to search for investors and added that she believed in her own capabilities to get her business to work. People think you need to invest in bricks and mortar. You need to have a home, that's your investment, she mused. I thought, no, what if I invest in myself? Andrea continued, I believe in me and I think that I'm a capable woman. Actually, I'm going to take the money out of the house and use it to invest it in me. Once I changed that mindset it was really liberating. Because I stopped thinking, oh my god, what if I don't have this house? What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything because we rent a house. We still put the curtains up and throw a cover on the bed and make it look nice. It's the same thing. You don't ever really own your own home, you're paying the mortgage off. What's the difference? The presenter has since released her latest book, You Just Need to Believe It, where she gives readers more insight into her various projects and living life on their own terms.